And we're back. Alright, so we're going to the Finman House. To give our newly acquired bottle of whiskey to Finman. Better talk to him first. I? Yeah, seriously, why? See, this this to me is just kind of poor game design. Like, when I click the bottle on him, it should he should just say this line automatically instead of making me do these extra steps. It's just unintuitive. And I don't think the game's been forcing me to talk to people before giving them items before. Like, it didn't with the sailor. So why now? It's just a weird... I don't know. It's inconsistent? Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. <coughs> ah, and that hit the spot. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch. <coughs> good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... What? What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie. Wow. But it wasn't working. I have no idea either. My roommate... Wait a minute! Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. This dude, this voice. I don't care what you go. I can't even do it. Uh. What should we say? Let's just come clean. <sighs> okay, I'll come clean. I accidentally got involved in a mess that I can't make heads or tails of. That's why I'm here, looking for him. I see. What? Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run, or your intentions are pure and your heart innocent, in which case we can talk. Is this James Earl Jones? Mufasa up in here? My heart is... These are both essentially the same answer. My heart is not the issue here, it's my brain! I feel like I'm going crazy! Look, I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumbled into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir, and this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kid type. Exactly. And then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? Well, it's gotta be real. Made my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is! No, don't show it to him. Uh, an exception will be made. What? We'll walk up to his room... And we'll see from there. Why would you... N none of what just happened there made sense to me. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kid A. 
You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. Okay, first of all, how do you know Don? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. I just want to stop again, guys, and, and talk about the music in this game. It's it's there have been a lot of tracks. I think you know I've mentioned that before, I believe, but listen to this. This is really good. Uh and it it fits the vibe. It, it, it works with, within the game's context, so. But another thing, while we're going to stop and talk about stuff, like, again, we're in another room that's purple and orange. And I get themes, I get thematics, but you do need variety to mix things up. It's a nice looking room, I like it. And I really like the, um, I, silhouette? I don't know what you would call this. The, uh, the framing um, they did here by just kind of drawing the image smaller than the screen you know that's really all they did i don't think they actually made a layer and put that over the image but uh they could have done that as well but either way they, they kind of you know um just condensed it down and gave it this kind of aesthetic like we're looking through i guess a window here um it's that that mixes things up and that's appreciated by me madmen what madmen the parish of the starry knowledge the esoteric order of dagon or the the butcher Okay, let's just ask about all of this. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. A what? Ugh, geometry. Yeah, exactly. I had geometry. Um, I did really good in, in college, not to brag. Oh, I was basically a straight-A student, but but I... I so geometry is trigonometry that really tripped me up I, it's the first and only time i had to go get tutoring uh but but i think i had geometry in high school or maybe it was middle school either way that i remember that tripping me up as well Th those i'm normally pretty good at math but but those two were like ugh, for me anyway sorry. the butcher tell me about the butcher this is not the place nor the time for that but what i will say is this he must not have the necronomicon you must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach, and watch your step here in Fishmouth. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. I've heard of the Esoteric Order. What's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here in Fishmoth? The half half goofa? The half goofa? The half goofa? Half -goofa. Those goofa. idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but. Are you gonna do something about the half goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely, but I'll think of something. I must. Uh, anyway. So, uh, again, you know, I mentioned this when I started the playthrough that I'm not, um, a historian, um, uh, when it comes to Cthulhu, um, or, or, you know, Lovecraft, <laughs> mythos and such, but... Uh, I did just quickly look up Half Goofa to see if that was a real thing. I mean, I've heard of Cthulhu, I've heard of Dagon, but not Half Goofa. Uh, but yeah, apparently that's a that's a thing. Um, according to a uh, quick Google search um, on Wikipedia, it's the name of a massive sea monster reported in the Orvir Odd saga to have existed in the Greenland Sea. Um, okay, whatever. It's still a funny name. About Olmstein. Yeah, let's go with this. We wanted to make sure I could get that alcohol first. 
If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe Why? I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked <laughs> enough, but I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway... <sighs> yeah, that's, that's not a good explanation. You still could have done what you needed to do. Can you describe Olmstein to me? Ha! Huh. That would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. B but the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Aw, oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. Changing subject. So he does this a lot to disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh, might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. <sighs> it's what I do. Yes, it is what we do. Um... There is a lot to look around here. A particularly unattractive representative of the Fishmouth population. Just realized what I said. There's a lot to look around at here. Just a mug and pitcher of coffee. Nothing to shine any kind of light on this Olmstein character. If you've ever done game recording of your own, um, you're thinking about a lot of things. Um... I think I've mentioned this before. Maybe not in this playthrough, maybe in another. Uh, but you're thinking about a lot of things. Um, the length of time you've been going, you don't want to go too long, uh, you don't get too short. Your recording software, you're trying to think about puzzles in the game and, and what to say and all sorts of stuff. So sometimes you say stuff that sounds really dumb, and I'm not above admitting that I'm probably just dumb. But uh, sometimes you catch yourself, you're like, man, I, I don't talk like that in the real world. I talk a little better than that. But in recordings, the stuff just kind of comes out kind of broken sometimes. It is just a hotel room, so it's not really telling me anything. What? What is the domestic area specifically? Because it seems to come over this little tiny object here. I need nothing from there. I need nothing from there. Definitely not souvenir material. Kitty couldn't care less. I figured. Yes, I can confirm. It's domestic junk. Okay. All right. Well. That big window overlooks the smelly intersection outside. Looks like the only way out, so I guess Olmstein jumped? But we didn't see or hear anything. I don't have a reason to leave this room in such a radical way. Already seen the view. It stinks. Um, I know I've been interjecting a lot, and I don't want to slow things down too much, but I just want to add one more quick thing, and then we'll explore the rest of the room. And this piece of paper is the first thing I noticed, honestly. But, uh, the window. Um, so it has a aspiring artist. Uh, not a very good one, but, but you know, getting a lot better. Um, I pay attention to things. And I mentioned this before when we talked about the taxi, but, but one thing with this window... Um, uh, a lot of people think when you draw a scene like this, you need a lot of detail. And there is a fair amount of detail in here. Um, one thing I noticed immediately while I was talking to this guy was, you know, the, um, the uh, trim around 
the ceiling in the middle of the wall, and I noticed there wasn't really an from here, and I was like, is that an error? And then I thought, well, maybe that's on purpose because the ceiling's ripped and maybe that came down, and then I was like, maybe there's a little piece here, it's hard to tell from where I'm sitting. And I was like, well, maybe that's on purpose. I let that go. But then I noticed the window, and I was like, the window is nice because it's just, not the window itself, but what's outside the window. It's just an orange square. And they drew, you know, a crossbar in front of it and called it a window. And, and it's so simple, but it works really well because this light with the contrast to the purple, it, it is a nice theme. I'm, I'm a little tired of seeing the theme, admittedly, but it is a nice theme. And it pops out and it's the most striking thing in the room. It's just this orange square, or if you separate it, you know, if you're dividing it with the crossbars, it's two rectangles and two kind of squares, right? Um, but this is the most striking thing in the room, and it's also probably, from my quote-unquote expert opinion, or amateur's opinion, it is the simplest thing drawn. <laughs> and so sometimes less is a lot more and I just want to point that out for anyone else that's into art or that you know likes to observe things like me um, and sometimes it takes a lot of it takes a lot to hold back and to go I'm not going to draw this vista out here of the city and, and all this detail and, and blah 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 I'm just going to put this orange block uh, and it worked it worked in this case so uh, I think that's pretty cool anyway Sorry, I'll move on. <laughs> hey, look at that! It's a pretty neat painting of the harbor. Accurate, too. Definitely not souvenir material. Kitty couldn't care less. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I Ooh. thought you couldn't read. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Ornithophile. They're interesting, but not pick up and carry around interesting. Now I've learned two words today. She doesn't care for birds. Half a goofa, an ornithophile. A conspicuous piece of paper lying on Olmstein's bed. It's okay, I can handle it. I like that. I like that line of dialogue there. I don't know why. I just did. It's a good response. Oh no! Geometry. It's a triangle of sorts. Um, it's a 3D. Okay. So I suppose we were supposed to show this to him or talk to him now? Because I think we've... Oh, we can look at the suitcase. Completely empty. Either Olmstein travels light or he's just wearing everything right now. Nah, I'm tra She doesn't need it. Just skipping through those because it's irrelevant. Um, so I think that's everything. So uh, we'll talk to Barnabas real fast. Hopefully. Real I fast. found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Olmstein's sign. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but it must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this, and questioning it is a waste of time. What? <laughs> Alright, <sighs> I don't understand why you presume this piece of paper with some triangle on it would be for me, but, but he apparently knows a lot more than we do. Either way, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break and split the video up. I will say that a little more into the game story now. Like, I like uh, I like the Cthulhu stuff. I like old gods and, and, and stuff like that. So hopefully we will get to see some of that in the game and it's not just fluff. I get the feeling we won't. Um, but only time will tell.